Um, all right, guys. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo will be out. Debo Samuel out. Kevin Givens out. Ambry Thomas and Kerry Hyder are both questionable. Go ahead. How did Debo look uh, practicing yesterday? I know it was limited, but how, how did he look? He did good. He was able to do individual with us, run a bunch of routes, and then finish the rest of it on the side. So he's get in there and um, right on schedule. Mario, you said that where you expect him to play some in the next week against Arizona? Uh, we'll see how practice goes. I mean, he's got to do more practice than he did this week, but he's definitely got a chance to. You would like him to if he can? Yes. With Elijah's, will you open the window next week? Is that kind of what the yeah, we, we, we actually would have opened it um, today or even maybe yesterday, but he's been homesick the last two days. We've had a bug going around, but he was good enough to start practicing today. So we'll definitely start that next week. How uh, pervasive has that bug been? I mean, how many guys have been struck? It's been a good group, um, but uh, none, of too, none are too bad. Most of the guys, a couple of guys have been out, but they've came back. And um, it seems like you get it every time around this time of year. So it's better now, I feel like, than a few weeks from now. Step. Well, we're all so healthy that none of us have been bad at all. So, the, yeah, the more the less sleep you get, the more coffee you drink, the healthier you are. So, we're doing good. I was saying a couple weeks ago that um, from the moment he got here, he kind of picked up on the urgency in this building to, to win a Super Bowl. I would assume as a rookie, that's a lot to kind of step into as a, a starter. How do you see him kind of embracing that? Do you have to talk to him about like, hey? You need to be at the same urgency level, but you still kind of have to do your job. Like, how does that go? Um, I don't think so. Just I think Brock naturally, um, you have to ask him his whole life story, but I think he's a guy who's probably always been counted out, and he's always trying every day to prove people wrong. And um, and so I think his urgency, I bet, has always been there. Um, I, I bet you that's why he's been, you know, starters or freshmen and stuff, and one of the leaders of his team, even as a young college player. And I think he came here with this, that exact attitude, but. I bet it was the first time he felt it from everybody. I mean, you don't get that much in college, and I think you get that a lot in the NFL. I'd like to say our team is stronger than, I think, a, a lot of them, so you get that huge here. But I think that's an adjustment a lot of rookies got to go to. to they, they all think it's real important to them, then they get to feel what it feels like for people to do it for a living and not just trying to make money for themselves, but there's families in there and things like that. And I think Brock's always had that mentality, and when you put a guy like that in a group like this, it just makes it that much stronger. Question based on your comment about sleep, have you ever found that your like lack of sleep or has affected your split second decisions during games? Like, is there ever a, do you have to to weigh how much sleep you get for when you're in a pressure situation and you have to either call a play or decide something? Any mistake I've ever made is from lack of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't. You never feel tired during games, so that, I mean. And honestly, the best I sleep and the best thing most of us sleep is Friday and Saturday. So the, the lack of sleep usually is by the time you guys see us now. I mean, it's just like it's, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's why we get out of here pretty early on Fridays, soon after you guys. And I always get my nap till dinner time, and I wake up at dinner time and hang out with the family and go to bed at about 10, and we start late tomorrow. So you, you get about nine hours. And then when we're done with the meetings tonight, we're usually asleep by 9, 30, 10, and you get, try to get about 12. So... Um, I feel like it's Friday and Saturday that allow you to get through the week. Yesterday to Bosa having an MVP type caliber season and Kittle has pushed him a little bit for MVP. Defensive guys don't win it since Lawrence Taylor, I don't think. Um, would you make a case for him? I definitely would. Um, I mean, I know it's always tough when, I mean, it's always tough with quarterbacks because of how big of a deal quarterbacks are to their teams and in the league and how great some of them are so that they do usually get it. But um, the other position that's so impactful are pass rushers. So you think of someone like Lawrence Taylor, um, it's going to make sense for someone like that to win it. I think it would make sense for someone like Aaron Donald in some of the years that he's had. Um, and you look at Nick, who I think he's right in that league right there of those two people that I just mentioned. And I think he's having that type of year. So it depends how the votes go and stuff. But, but it always surprises you because of the quarterback situation. But by no means is it not warranted. I mean, he's that good of a player, and um, those guys are like that every once in a while. Are you pretty settled with your cornerback situation, or is there an opportunity for Jack Rabbit to, to get up and, and make a contribution here down the stretch? No, there's an opportunity for him. Um, 
You know, I mean, I think we're set with um, our starters out there and stuff, but there's an opportunity for him to get into that rotation and um, get in the group and be the next man up. And we've been impressed with how he's been here um, since he's gotten in, and um, we're very glad to have him. We have no idea how it's going to play out, but he definitely is an option here over the next few weeks. Cool. All right, Thanks. All right. Thanks. Th thanks, guys.